Welcome to the land of warriors. Welcome to Karamoja. Welcome to Kotido. Basically, this is how they construct their gates over here. They use, uh, I think this is, they use dry, sticks. Dry wood. This is dry wood, yes. They use dry wood over here. And then what you see here, these are thorns. So you have to be careful. The reason why they put these thorns here is for protection. 
like to protect the thieves from jumping into their homestead. So welcome to the, Ma is it Manyata? Yeah, Manyata. Yes, welcome to the Manyata homestead, where you find a lot of in-laws, you find all the kids, you find, um, okay, the whole family, you find the whole family in one homestead. So come with us, guys. <laughs> So basically, guys, this is how you enter a Manyata home. I think you can tell um, the entry here. It's so most okay. Some I think this is just because this is the main gate. It is kind of taller, like in size. You understand? It is kind of taller. But when you find other entrances, you find they are too short. I don't know why they make them too short. To avoid the uh, cutters from entering the main entrance. Okay. Yeah. I think you can see. This is all a Manyata, guys. Every Manyata. You'll get uh, the other crown inside. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. And this is where we are entering. We're entering the crown. Yeah. So I think you guys have realized, even before we enter, most of the time they use this to close, like to close this. But just like a door, just like closing your door at home, this is what it is right here, guys. They use this to close and the door. door. But now it is open because we are using it. So this is now the entrance to where they used to keep their cattle. So come along with us, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So this is now the center. This is the center right over here. Um, I'm told that when you come to a Karamoja home or a Manyata, you have to have this whole space for your cattle and it has to be in the center of the homestead, right? Yeah. yeah. But apparently, there are no cattle here because... Raids, raids, because of raids and... Uh, mm. no people, other people come from other districts, mm. other countries, like the mm. Because we are all, all pastors, so raiding is a, a common habit among pastors. Okay. So you go steal cows from another district or oh. another country. Okay. Yeah, so that's what happened with this home state. Mm. Most of their cows actually, their cows were stolen. So oh. for security purposes, most of them were taken to uh, what brigade. Okay. Yeah. So in the middle of the crowd, mm. <coughs> for each uh, home state, you'll find uh, mm. you'll find different entrances mm. for every home state that's inside one manyata. There can be like about twenty or thirty families. Each each of them having an entry. See this one. The cows will be inside the crowd, so this family mm. will use this entrance to, act, <coughs> to access the crowd. The other, the other family also will use that entrance. There's also another family that side, mm. they will use that entrance. Mm. There's another family behind you, they will use that entrance. Mm. Mm. They have all yeah. entrances all in every... Entrances to come here and okay. Meet the cows. Okay. Yes, wow. So I think now we are going to go inside one of the homesteads mm. and we show you around. And we show you around, guys. So let's go. There is that mama there having fun. Mama. <laughs> so she's going to join us in the homestead tour. Mm. Maybe let's uh, let's find out. Yeah. I'm going to get her. Maria to. Maria to Maria. Ato Maria. Ato Maria. Yeah. Ah, yes. wow. She will be joining us in the home. And then yeah. this mama here. Achila Akele. Rakele. Rakele. Okay. She's now the mother of the homestead. Oh, she's now the mother of the homestead. Yeah, that's her mother in law. Oh wow! Okay. She's a big wife of the family. <laughs> ah! <laughs> wow, that is so nice. Yeah, and I feel like these ladies are so amazing. From from, from the time we came, they've been so amazing to us. So they're also going to give us a, a tour, guys, of the homestay. So let's go. Okay. We go. Yeah. This one, I think I need. This one, I think I need from here. So guys, this is what I was telling. I think you can see this door, this one, the entrance to the cattle place is shorter compared to other entrances. So I'm just going to kneel, you see, like this. 
yeah this is how you enter all right guys so i'm going to be starting uh, with the granary here um this is how they construct them here so basically they store our food over here but apparently there is no food inside uh, they are waiting for new harvest to come in but this is how they construct the granary and um it's not the only one here there's also another one here this is a granary as well mm -hmm. that's also a granary yeah. and it's so, so yeah. right over here does this one have food or it doesn't have so, <coughs> they're just covering it just for safety waiting for the new harvest oh, okay. all right let's go to the side of the house so whose house is this one because it looks like so big like for the yeah. big man it's like for okay okay for the other lady the, the, the one i told you is the, the big lady of the home yes this is her house oh this is her house eh? mm -hmm. okay all right guys mm -hmm. i think you can see how they construct it here let's give them one up close yeah so basically this is how they construct their houses guys this is how it looks like and now this is the main entrance right over here we're going to be entering and showing you guys yeah welcome to the land of the warriors guys all right i think even you can see there's another gate here but still in the same manyata i think you can see others over there guys. so many of them so this is where they cook from they cook from out they use the outside kitchen this one is reminding me of my home state <laughs> In case of rain, they have that room mm. where they cook from. That room behind you. This is where they cook from. In case there's rain, behind inside the room. Okay, in case yeah. there's rain. Yeah. So if there is no rain, they cook from here. Exactly. Ah, okay. This is out of uh, popo. Mm. The, they get uh, unripe popo, and then they feed the outside cover. The inner part is now fed to the kids, the young kids. Oh. Yeah. This one, guys. Okay. So the inner part is what they feed the kids. Ah. They pick it from there. Okay. 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 Well, you do like this. Mm, yes. <laughs> mm, show them how they enter. This is how they enter. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Will I really enter? Hmm? Uh, so, what do they uh, use here? Cow dung? See, like this is uh, it's freshly made. Okay. This is uh, the first layer. Mm. Yeah, when, when when you see that it's fully done, mm. they, it's uh, always thick and you can see that it's also very green. This is just the first layer. When mm. this is done, they're going to add another layer. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You can see from the difference of the color, it looks a little pale, brown, brown. Yeah. So when it's fully done, it's uh, green like uh, this other side here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not yet fully done. Oh, madam, <laughs> guys, see, I'm entering. I'm entering someone's house right now, like this. Here, you have to kneel. <laughs> oh, wow, actually, it is so big. So, inside, you can stand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, where are you? Inside you can stand guys. So these ladies are seated here. You guys can see them. There. And then here they this is like the roof. Yeah. Okay. What do they so what do they the net is put up there to avoid vermins and then uh, maybe <coughs> if rats are there. Mm. They don't access the inner part of the house. So the rats cannot eat this net? No, no, they can't eat it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So guys, this is how their homes look like inside. There's a mama here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let us see what they have. There's a pot. This pot is for keeping food. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then here? Yeah. Uh, this is a bucket. As you can see, it uh, still has a little stain mm. for making a local brew. Oh, this one, these are the buckets, guys, they use for making local brew. These ones here. Uh -huh. And then this one is a saucepan? Yeah. Saucepan for food. Yeah. Right here. Mm. And then uh, this one, they use it for what? It's a, it's a drink for water, collecting water. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And then this is for making. Uh, so this, mm. it's what they use for keeping food. Okay. So food is either put on a saucepan, mm. and then it's put here. It's saved from young kids. Ah. Yeah. Okay. This is where they hang their clothing. This is where they hang their clothing. Hey guys, it looks nice inside actually. And actually it's very very cool. Ah uh, yeah. Very very cool. Yes, I this. What is this? Uh, this is used for cooking. And uh, it's used also for making porridge. There are local porridge for that too. Mm. Wow. Okay. The other cooking things, yeah. You can see. This, this is, is also, also for cooking. Okay. It's actually very good for making a pasty. Let's use this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey, the house is so big. So now this house accommodates with the wife. Uh, the wife uh -huh. and then uh, the husband and then other kids. Oh. See, this is the other things being kept here. See, these are, these are their food. This is how they put their stuff. Exactly. So kids can't uh, access move them. And then play oh. with things that's being kept up there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Then that's the bed. <coughs> Where is the bed? This one is the bed. Yeah. Height. <coughs> these are the heights. These are the bed. Wow. Yeah. This is made out of? This is from uh, the skin the of, skin uh, of that animals. animals cows, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey. Wow. So they just lay so this all, down and then so they sleep. Exactly. They don't have something to cover themselves mm. at uh, night. Of course, they use the, the normal sheets. The, ah. the sheets they always use. The laces. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. Hey, I'm learning something. <laughs> okay. I can see this lady is seated very well. <laughs> oh, they're welcoming me as their in law. Exactly. Ah, this is how they sit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, I think you can see there. Also, they can also use it as a mat yeah, to sit as down. Using it to sit. Mm. Okay. This is nice. Let me also have a seat. Yeah. Uh, uh, as, as the fear. No, you have to sit like this. Put your leg straight. Oh. Like this. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I have to put my legs like mm. this. Your leg has to be straight. Like that. Ah. So as, hey. as the feel, hey. sitting, <laughs> sitting on that, like, how do you feel? I feel good. I feel good sitting like this. Why it's very, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. Oh. All right, guys. Welcome to the Karamajong home. Yeah. Mm. So she, she can also, like, I wanted to ask something. Um, can she allow this? Is she, let's say, she doesn't sleep here, but she's also one of the wives. Of a homestead, I need to know some because I feel like yeah, these people can live like co wives in one homestead. How do they feel? Uh, as for co wives, they have different homesteads, though in the same manyata. Mm. Yeah, so if someone can ask, have around four wives in the same manyata, but they're not in the same homestead, different homesteads. Okay, yes, each one will be having their own. Okay, yeah, so how does the big man do it? Uh, he chooses uh, the one he likes. He wants for the night. Maybe he can go to one woman, and then maybe she has not made anything to eat. Goes to the next wife. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> wow. If she has not cooked something, then he goes to the second. Wife. He goes to the second wife. Wow. If the second wife has not cooked, goes to the third wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really love the fact that guys that they live a simple life. I think you guys have seen they're so humble. They really, really live a, a simple life. Guys, I'm told this is for twins. 
Uh, what is she saying? I know she was explaining that uh, these are sets of twins. This for one and then this for the other. Oh, yeah. she had twins? Yeah. Then th where are they? Ajay <laughs> That, that's cool. They are cool, eh? Yeah. This one is for one twin, uh -huh. then this one is for another one. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, so they are, they are all still alive. Mm. So let's say if, uh, <coughs> if one of them had passed on, uh, there's, a, there's a stone they all put around there to ah. show that this one has passed on. Okay. But all of them are still alive. Yeah, so this one, they are all alive. That's why <laughs> there's no stone here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And uh, <coughs> these are uh, other sticks here, you see? Mm. They are also used as abo for the twin twin that's it. Mm. It's uh, grinded and then put into water, mm. warm water, and then they drink it. Okay. Yeah. So why, why did she decide to put it on the side of the house like this? Uh, it's usually put at the side of the house. Mm. So that uh, maybe, let's say, there's a visitor that comes home and doesn't know the people of the homestead. Just like the way I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, it's a homestead mm. of twins. So this is how you realize it's a homestead of twins. Okay. Yeah. Wow. This, that is where they cook That's from? That's where they cook from. Mm. Okay. I'm not sure when I look at that. All right, guys. So, <coughs> the homestead we are going to mm. is for... I young to one Ah. Okay, let's we see. have to pass this side. Mm. Okay, this is where the lady passes from. Oh, uh, she's the lady of the homestead. Okay, but her man doesn't can't use this side where we are using. Mm. Uh, using so what you want to say is the man just sneaks in. The man just sneaks in, and we are going to show you where the man sneaks in from. And you are going to tell you guys the reason why the man sneaks in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A man who has not paid. A man who has not yet paid dowry, guys. Mm. He's supposed to just sneak in from the other side. This, this is entrance. Entrance. Wow. This is the entrance of a man who has not paid his dowry. <laughs> this one here, guys. Yeah, so that it's uh, it's next to the what? To the main entrance. Ah. Yeah, so that can just sneak in without. Mixing with the rest. The, of the rest. Eh? Wow, guys, me, I'm just learning something new, cause they told so, uh, me. She's the lady of the homestead. Yeah, she's the lady over here. So for her, she's not yet married. She's not yet. They've not yet paid her dowry. That is why she's staying away That's from. That's why they've kept her aside from the rest of the family. Mm. Yeah, so a man just escapes to come in. To that is her. just culture. Yeah, exactly, That's culture. So up to when they pay her dowry, up then they can they open the doors for her. her. They can open the access for the man. Can peacefully walk through the family okay. members. Okay. Wow. So now the only thing they share is the main interest. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Here, but he's not allowed to go the other side he where cannot, the parents are. Go. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So can you give us a rough estimate of how much you're supposed to pay for her dowry? Because no, I had the... Karama Jong's their dowry is so expensive. Yeah, that depends on the family. If, uh, if you marry into a rich family, mm. you can even maybe get around 200. 200 um, cows? Yeah. Wow. That's how you get a rich family. Hey! hey. Marrying a Karama Jong woman is not simple. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, eh, 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 these ladies are so expensive. So, so apparently, mm. they made a partial payment. Ah. They brought 20 cows, so that's not yet enough to cover everything. They bought only 20 cows, yes. so they still they are still demanding. So they still need more. That's why the wow. man can just still escape to enter in. Oh, because he paid a little bit. Yeah. Ah. So apparently, I think by the time it gets done, you'll get when the man has paid maybe 100 cows. Wow. But they are allowed to pay in installments, right? Yeah. Because that's a, for sure you cannot bring 100 cows on. In one day, you cannot bring 100 cows in one day, for sure. Wow. Wait, wait let me ask, why are they so expensive like that? Is yeah. it because of the marks they have on the face or what? Bajong is it? Hmm. You can't go to the house. 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 
So apparently it's uh, so that you as a woman being taken out of your family's home, mm. it's not like a waste. Because mm. uh, ladies are considered very valuable assets for them. They are very valuable assets, eh? Because they are hard working, they are what? Okay. So you can see our tattoo here. This one's here for beauty. This tattoo's here for beauty. Exactly. So hers, she has not yet completed because most of them I complete. see the whole face. Exactly. So if she completes them, then she's the, you said she she, yeah. she looks to I'm be sorry. like the most beautiful. Exactly. Wow. So the ones who has, uh, when it has covered the entire face, mm. that she's considered very beautiful and very courageous. She can withstand pain and all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah because I feel like this is very, yeah, very it's painful. painful. It's painful. See, some people Look use Look at that, bones. guys. So painful. Look at that. Yeah. And this is a tattoo. Exactly. Mm. I can see even the, the ears are what? Mm -hmm. The ears are pierced. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So guys, right now we are trying to now leave the homestead. So this is a homestead over here. So I'm told something. Karamoja Focus told me something. When you come to the Manyata homestead, what are you supposed to leave before you leave their homestead? Because as you as you're leaving the main homestead, you're supposed to meet a, a big uh, man of the homestead. Then you have to leave something with him. Yeah. So this is what we are basically going to do, guys. So when you come to the Manyata homestead, this is what you have to do. Come along. Okay, I want to say bye bye to them. Hello. Yeah. So guys, this is how you do it. Like, mm. Mm. Yes, yeah. 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 You did finish this other one, sir. I don't know. So, <coughs> shall I talk to the main elder?